Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. This is going to be my vinyl video, so let's start off with not a vinyl, but it has the same size of a vinyl and I thought I bought a vinyl, but this is the Lost World Jurassic Park. Sadly, this awesome, awesome bit of not music it's the video it's the movie it's on a laser disc and this is just a big big ass CD and I don't know what to do with it what I do know is that I really want to keep it because I absolutely love the artwork. Sorry if I'm... Um, I, I, I have a cold, so sorry if I sniff a lot. Next up, the legs with House of Horizontal Happiness. This is a rocky funk record from my friends. And I've known the, these guys since their first um, first uh, band repetition, so first band practice, sorry. And now they've released their first EP, Just On Black. And these guys are from my area and I absolutely love these back prints, they look really old school old school rock type like really fucking cool check them out next up I've got two copies of this one this is Lord of the Rings inspired music and both are on black vinyl so I'll show the artwork and the track listing And sadly this has a sticker on the vinyl and I don't want to ruin the cover because I like the cover. Next up, my only Metallica album, it's called the $5.98 EP Garage Days Re Revisited. It's a mouthful and I don't like this one. I don't know why I still have it. And I forgot to give it away or something like that. Next up, the Dutch uh, old school death metal slash grindcore band Morning. It's uh, the album Greetings from Hell, if I'm, not, if I'm not mistaken. And I bought this at their, uh, I guess it was a, some kind of reunion show. But it was under the name where they playing right now it's called they called Rauen which is a Dutch translation for morning really cool stuff a really um, must have if you like old school death metal mixed with some grindcore ish type of music next up mitochondrion with fornix various scientia mortis archaea this and it is by far my most heaviest vinyl I've got. And there's the artwork and the stuff that comes of, out of the tortures, tortured guy, guy's face and mouth has been gloss. So that's really cool. Comes with a poster. Really cool devilish with boobs. That's good. And I got this special edition gold vinyl. And I really, really love it. And it has got a lyric booklet with some sick, sick artwork. That's the poster over there. Some really cool stuff. 
some really cool symbols and it also came with a flyer of the show where I bought this one and I hope I can get it out yeah. almost yes found it Magua one head one tail one head um, Mistrimming and Karga Kringa. It was a really, really cool show, and wow, all the bands killed it. And I'm glad I've visited that gig. And I bought some sick records over there, including Mitochondrians, Fornix, etc., etc., etc. Off to a record I bought in America, and I way overpaid too too much for this one uh, because I thought it was worth it and I would uh, pay not that much for it I paid $65 for mutilation aggression in effect it's a death thrash album and some really cool stuff it's the backside really old school looking and I thought I made the bargain of the century by buying this one and a seller told me like yeah I'm, this one is going for two 250 euros on discogs and I was like whoa 65 dollars it's a steal it wasn't really cool album though some really cool uh, death thrash and I guess you guys would love it Next up, it's my no, it's my second box set and the first box set I bought Moonblood with From Hell. Really thick spine compared to my finger with some runes and here's the opening. So let's open it up. Really good, just black. And let's take the shit out first. Here's the booklet and some stuff on the back. Some track listings, some lyrics and old flyers and stuff. Really cool stuff. Came with four records and a seven inch. Yes. Sort of first with. Uh, this is Full Moon Witchery, really cool stuff, it's a, just a 7 inch on black vinyl if I'm not mistaken. Yes, just on black vinyl, really really cool stuff, I, I think I got this from Iron Bonehead and they always release some sick sick stuff. Just like this one, this is from... Oh? Dusk Wobrot and I really love this artwork. That's a, it's some kind of frameish type of thing, really cool. And this one is surprisingly on the coolest color ever black. So, right. and the thing is with this one, I can't get it out of the sleeve, so that's a real pain in the ass. Alrighty, next up. This is Moonblood with Of Lunar Passion and Sombre Blood. Sombre Blood. Also just on black vinyl. The cold as fuck picture. Werewolf. Cool. This is Moonblood with Taste Art German Steel. And the funny thing is this one I don't like the most because it's a picture disc and you already know I hate picture discs but it's a part of the set and funny fact is this is the most played record of the whole box set just because the album is fucking cool next up this is Moonblood with Templar's Penitence Penitence just on black as well and the castle of Transylvania, I guess. And 
I've got some more um, Moonblood stuff, but that's going to be in my small um, uh, tape uh, collector's thing update thingy because I'm spending also a few monies on uh, cassettes and I got a few coming as well. So keep an eye on keep an eye out on that one. Next up, this is Nacht Still Nacht Forst with Stills, sorry. And this is a Dutch black metal band, raw black metal band with some doom influences, if I'm not mistaken. And it has a poster. I'm holding it correctly. Yes, I'm holding it correctly. Really cool stuff. Uh, the vinyl is on my record player as we speak. I give this a lot of spins. I don't know why, but I like this so fucking much. Not forced with stills. Next up, a record I don't want to have anymore. This is Old Man's Child with Revelation 666, The Curse of Damnation. So if anybody wants this, hit me up. I want to get rid of it. By the way, it's really shit black metal. This is some good doom metal from the Netherlands. This is called Officium Triste with Morse Vidi. Yes, goes out like this. I've got this from Hammerheart Records, and here you can see some old CDs with with some cigarettes and demo tapes and stuff like that. Just on black vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, just on black vinyl. And it didn't came with anything except a useless second one. But Officium Triste is a big name in the Netherlands and especially in a Dutch doom doom death scene they've played some very big shows here and there in the Netherlands and if I'm not mistaken also in Europe some big festivals so if you don't know Officium Triste is you should really get into them next up this is a Dutch black metal act called Ode with their album Schimmen Wout and I didn't know much of Ode when I bought it, except that it was raw as fuck, and that's how I like my black metal. Raw as fuck. Some lyrics and stuff like that. It has been released on the Dutch uh, label Heiden's Heart, and I absolutely love that record label. And. He's going to release some sick ass stuff. I'm I'm not mistaken, the latest Sidet Gorgor is being released as we speak, I think. So by the way, I'm talking about Ode and Ode is a sick black metal act from the Netherlands. Off to another black metal act. This is called Owl's Blood with Cold Night of Meditation. <laughs> And these guys know how to play black metal well. I got this uh, recommended by me by, I believe, Canyon and Dave. And they talked about this one, if this was the best black metal uh, records in years. So I bought it and I absolutely love it. It is given a few spins. Not a lot of spins, but a good amount of spins. And I don't know if you heard that, but that's my dad driving away on his motorbike. Next up, hard rock legends, Pink Floyd or grunge legends, Pink, Flo Pink Floyd. Wow, cold is getting me. Pearl Jam with ten. And I heard my dad play the. CD a few times and I'm blown away by this one and the track um, Alive and Even Flow are are amazing on this one I own just this record of Pearl Jam and for me that's enough 
I don't want to hear anything more from Pearl Jam except this one Pearl Jam with 10 next up <laughs> Pantera with Power Metal it's before they came that band that they are right now they played some hair metal and they were pretty shit at it and I bought this record in great condition until it came apart and the guy said yeah it's in good condition for like 20 25 euros you can have it and the first thing happened when I came home the vinyl fell out so fuck you you know who you are so let's close this up and head off to yes indeed the wall by Pink Floyd this album gets a lot of spins on my player as well just on black vinyl the inner sheets are cool with hand drawn lyrics same in the other one if I'm not mistaken yes really cool stuff by them and I thought I would like the other stuff as well the older stuff and even the newer stuff and I gave it a shot with this record Pink Floyd uh, Relics I believe yes called Relics yeah and just on black as well and I bought this record because it said Pink Floyd and I was in my uh, smoking period I had that one and I thought yeah Pink Floyd is always good so I bought this one and I just keep it with album The Wall next up a death doom band from if I'm not mistaken the USA or Germany this one is called Rattenfanger with their album Epistole Obs Obscurum Virorum and I ordered this and I didn't expect it to be some kind of round I've never seen this package and really really cool stuff some cool ass pictures and just some black vinyl if I'm not mistaken yes just some black vinyl amazingly well um, death doom which focuses sometimes a bit more on brutal death metal even and I fucking love this record it gets get some spins and just a great great addition to my collection as well and the last but certainly not the least the least royal arch blasphemy with their album do do some really cool artwork i got this um from my hell's headbangers um order and i got the I saw it a few times in a few videos of people and i was like yeah looks cool sounds great why the fuck not here it goes the lyric sheet oh yeah, by the way i don't give a fuck about lyrics i just care about the instrumentation and the style of uh, vocals of the band and it is on white and black vinyl really cool stuff I've never seen anything like this before really really cool stuff really mesmerizing when you put it on the table so really cool stuff let's put it in and yeah that that's um, that's my fifth uh, vinyl video so let me know how you thought about it and 
please like and subscribe and all that kind of jazz so fuck yeah thank you and have a nice evening bye